good person to you, Akuti. We are going to discuss some qualities of a good professional teacher or facilitator in the realm of education. There are about eight points to be discussed, and the first one is on commitment to the profession and separation of personal life from the profession. Next is promoting independence in learning. Mena or mannerism is a person's outward bearing or way of behaving towards others. So, to behave as the professional facilitator to your audience in a mannerly way, firstly, effective communication is a good for skills for teachers to have. Provide clear communication, like a respond in a timely way to any communication from your peers, students, parents, or administrators is one way to communicate. So be punctual and attentive to provisions, students, parents, or administrations conveys a meaningful message to consider by others. Secondly, patience. Patience helps teachers to remain calm and understand their students' mistakes. Patience is considered as the most essential quality for a teacher as teachers' patience helps them to be goal-oriented and remain calm enough to make learners understand their mistakes, even if they make several mistakes. Like, be devoted and be dedicated, responsible and caring, impartial to all students and etc. Hence, having lots of patience is considered the most essential quality of a teacher. Finally, compassion. A teachers can model compassion for their students, which can make students more open to understand their world, like sharing, loving, kindness, respectful of others, and etc. A ways forward to build a positive behavior and manner in your students. Moreover, teachers should understand their students' personal lives and appreciate their academic goals and achievements. It's important to build a positive behavior and manners acceptable in their realm of education. Hello, everyone. I am Bennett Sungu, and I'll be talking about the following points, which are point number one, not to discriminate. Point number two, act with integrity. And point number three, so respect in teaching as a professor. Professionally, teaching means a set of standards educators are expected to follow while working as a teacher. Professionalism in the field of education involves interacting with students, colleges, administrators, parents, and other members of the community in an appropriate and respectful way that encourages a successful learning environment. Why is professionalism important for teachers? It establishes trust and credibility, enhances student learning outcome, role modeling for students, fostering a positive school culture, and upholding ethical standards. In this presentation, I will present you on how to be professional based on these three rules. Rule number one, not to discriminate as a teacher. Discrimination is the process of making unfair or prejudicial in distinction between people based on the group to which they belong, such as age, gender, race, religion, etc. As a teacher, do not discriminate against students for any reason. You will encounter students of different race backgrounds and abilities, and you must treat all of them with dignity and respect. Students can tell if you do not like them, especially if you treat them differently from other students, and this may cause them to act out or refuse to let you help them. Discrimination in schools can negatively affect students' academic performance, mental health, and overall well-being. It is essential to avoid discrimination for several reasons. Reason 1. Legal obligations. Laws like Title IX prohibition discrimination in education to promote inclusivity and inclusive environment for start belonging and engagement. Reason number three, enhancing academic performances. Diverse classroom perform better academically. And reason number four, mental health consideration. Avoiding discrimination contributes to healthier environment. How to avoid discrimination? As teachers must engage in diversity training, establish clear anti discrimination policies, create an inclusive curriculum, and address bullying promptly. And to our second point, act with integrity. Integrity in teaching refers to the adherence to moral and ethical principles, ensuring that educators act honestly and responsibly. This is crucial as teachers serve as a role model for their students and are trusted with their education and well-being. In everything you do, focus on integrity. Do not caught up in gossip among teachers and other school staff. Do not help them help students cheat or get away with negative behavior. While you must follow instruction and do your job, if your cooperating teachers or another staff members ask you to engage in discriminatory or unethical behavior, do not agree to do it. 
key actions to demonstrate integrity. Action one, honesty in communication teachers should uh, be honest and communicate truthfully with students, parents, and colleges. This includes providing accurate information about students' performance and being transparent about classroom policies. Two, fairness in assessment. It is essential for teachers to assess students fairly and objectively. This means avoiding favoritism and ensuring that all students have equal opportunities to succeed. And three, maintain the confidentiality of students' record and personal information is a crucial aspect of integrity. Teachers must respect the privacy of their students and handle sensitive information appropriately. And finally, for ethical, rather modeling ethical behavior, teachers should model ethical behavior by dem demonstrating respect, responsibility, and fairness in their interaction with others. This sets a standard for students to follow. Acting with integrity fosters trust between teachers, students, parents, and community. And to our final point, which is showing respect. Respect is essential for effective teacher-student relationship. Even if you do not like the teacher you work with or other school staff, you must respect them and focus on the work you need to do. If you do not respect the other adults in a school, students may not respect them either. That can lead to push problems with classroom management, discipline, and overall school environment. Respect is a two-way thing. We give and we take. Some ways to show respect. Uh, you can show respect to Active listening, teachers should listen attentively to students and acknowledging their feelings. Or you can show respect to fairness and equity, treating all students equally, promoting belonging. Or professional in communication, using respectful language, foster mutual respect. And modeling behavior, teachers should show respectful behavior towards everyone. Why should, uh, why should you show respect? Why respect is important? Respect is important because it, it's because our respectful Atmosphere boosts students' engagement, foster better communication, and reduce social behavior issues. In conclusion, by not discriminating anyone, acting with integrity and showing respect as teachers do in schools, educators play a vital role in saving the character of future generations. These principles are not as fundamental to effective teaching, but also essential to cultivating a society that values diversity and promotes social justice. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Desmond Albert. I will be presenting to you the topic, student independence. In today's classroom, one important idea is to give students some independence. This means allowing them to make choices, take responsibility for their learning and explore topics that interest them. Encouraging independence can have many benefits for students. Why independent matters? Independent matters because it boosts confidence. When students are given the chance to make decisions about their work, they build confidence in their abilities make choices, helps them believe in themselves and their skills. This confidence can carry over into other areas of their lives. Independence also encourages critical thinking. Independent encourages students to think for themselves when they have the freedom to choose how to approach a task or solve a problem. They learn to analyze situations and come up with solutions. This critical thinking is an important skill for the future. Independence also fosters responsibility. With independence comes responsibility. When students are allowed to manage their own learning, they learn to take ownership of their actions. This means they understand the importance of completing tasks on time and learn for their mistakes and also it increases engagement students are often engaged when they can choose what they want to learn about when they have a say in their education they are more likely to be excited and motivated to participate in class activities now how can you promote independence it is true, choices in assignments. Teachers can offer students options for projects or assignments. For example, students might choose between writing a report, creating a presentation, or making a video. This allows them to select a format they enjoy and feel comfortable with. Independent can be promoted by setting goals. Encouraging students to set 
their own learning goals, can help them take charge of their education. Teachers can guide them in creating realistic and achievable goals, which empower students to work towards their own success. Independence can also be promoted by group work. Collaborative projects allow students to work together and make decisions as a team. This not only promotes independence but also teaches them how to communicate and cooperate with others. And lastly, independence can also be promoted by reflection. Giving students time to reflect on their learning experience helps them understand that works best for them. Reflection can be done through journaling or class discussions, allowing students to express their thoughts and feelings about the learning journey. In conclusion, giving students some independence is crucial for their growth as learners. It boosts their confidence, encourages critical thinking, fosters responsibility and increases engagement. By providing choices, promoting goal setting, facilitating group work, and encourage reflections, teachers can create an environment where students feel empowered to take charge of their education. This independence not only benefits them in school, but also prepares them for future challenges in life. Hello everyone, I am Cornel Batil, and in this video, I will be talking about the professionalism and teaching. Demonstrating one's ability to be thoughtful, dependable and polite in a professional setting, teacher professionalism accomplishes attributes like respect, competence, confidence, accountability, integrity and manners. A teacher is someone who helps students acquire knowledge, competence or excellence via the practice of teaching. Professionalism in teaching involves commitment to students, the profession, colleagues, management, parents, agency, employer, community and the nation as a whole. Teachers should respect lawful authority, maintain friendly relationships, value parental advice and strive for personal integrity. This video examines the role of profession in teacher education and academic achievement. It highlights challenges in preparing teachers and enhancing professional quality, emphasizing dual ethical responsibility, promoting group work and learning from experiences. Teachers must show commitment to parents and must involve their children in their education. They have to be fond of making relationship with people of the surrounding community. Teachers must have relationship between families and schools to, to motivate the students, making them to attend class and attain good grades. Parents are encouraged to support the learning process by ensuring that style avoids forms of physical or emotional harm. In this way, teachers and students should know their rights and responsibilities and the terms and conditions that are being set by the employer. Higher education requires theoretical knowledge and practice requiring mastery of domain skills. This means that effective teachers are the products of universities only. Colleges have been found not to produce quality teachers. Professional learning communities are essential and members must supervise practice and instruction to meet institutional standards. Teaching is based on relationship. It requires professional relationships with colleagues, parents, guardians, and education authorities for effective teaching and student work. Professional teachers must respect the values of the community and they must maintain information and also they must have personal privacy. This means that they must balance their work and personal life ensuring that instruction remains effective by treating the community they work in with respect and actively participating in events, educators can show their dedication to the community and the country. Teachers must be knowledgeable about their rights and the philosophy of education, and so they won't let their personal lives affect their instruction and preparation in the classroom. In conclusion, teacher professionalism involves respect, competence, confidence, accountability, integrity, and ethic. This involves co commitment to students, the profession, colleagues, parents, management, employer, the community, and the nation as a whole. Teachers must respect lawful authority, maintain friendly relationships, value parental advice, and strive for personal integrity. They must be knowledgeable about 
their rights, responsibilities, and balance their work from personal life. Watching this video, like and share. Professional appearance as a teacher is, is crucial not only for setting a positive example for students, but also for creating an environment conducive to learning. Here are key areas to consider. 1. Dressing appropriately for role. Choose professional attire. Depend, depending on the school dressing code, aim for clothing that is both professional and comfortable. For example, business casual. For men, collared set and chinos. And for women, blouses with knee length skirts. 2. Focus on cleanliness and grooming. Maintain personal hygiene. A clean and well groomed teacher is his appearance is essential. For example, regular haircuts and neat hairstyle whether short or tight black. 3. Select appropriate footwear. Choose a comfortable yet professional shoes. As say teachers, as teachers are often on their feet, comfortable footwear is key, but it should also look polished. For example, closed toe flats or low heel shoes for women and for men, dress shoes for dress shoes. Avoid ca over, over casual footwear like flip flops or sneakers unless specifically allowed. 4. Utilize professional accessories. Keep accessories minimal and fun functional. Accessories should, should enhance your look, uh, look without being dis distracting. Example, a classic watch or simple simple stud earrings. Avoid large jewelry that may distract students. 5. Mindful of content posture. Exhibit positive body language. Good posture and open body language can convey confidence and approachability. For example, Stand tall with shoulders back to project authority and confidence. Use gestures to engage students but avoid crossing your arms which can seem defensive. 6. Inappropriate personal thought thoughtfully. Express your personality while remaining professional. It is important to feel comfortable in your attire while adhering to professional standards. For example, choose colors or patterns that reflect your personal but remain in line with professional norms. L layer with bl blazers or curtains that add flair while maintaining a polished look. 7. Adapt to various classroom settings. Dressing for different Activities. Be prepared for varying different schools' events from formal meetings to outdoor activities. For example, for physical education or outdoor classes, opt for smart athletic wear that, athletic wear that is appropriate and comfortable. Have a set of clothes for social occasions as, such as school assemblies or parent teacher conference that align with formal expectation. And finally, 8. Project confidence approachability. Maintain a positive demeanor. Your, your attitude can enhance your professional appearance. For example, smile often and make eye contact with students, fostering a welcome classroom classroom atmosphere, welcoming classroom atmosphere. Engage with students authentically with, which helps to build and show that you are approachable.